everyone I am in El Paso I'm in the El, El Segundo Barrio one of the oldest neighborhoods let me give you a look there very much the old part of El Paso uh, I'm going to drive past uh, the Sacred Heart Church it's where a lot happens uh, all these people who uh, migrants who cross the border and turn themselves in uh, it's just they do that just down the street that way and then where they end up is at is this uh, Sacred Heart Church um, and from there they are usually fed and given blankets and toys for the kids that kind of thing so I want to show you it first um, very busy in this part of uh, El Paso. This barrio or neighborhood, the entire neighborhood, is on the National Register. A very historic place here in El Paso. I want to show you this church first though. There it is. Gothic architecture. Really beautiful. Uh, it's where the migrants congregate here and around it. You can see some of them here. Um, that's some beautiful murals here too. Yeah, you can see this is where they have, some of them have congregated underneath this mural. Really interesting place. Uh, I'm going to show you this area of El Paso first. And then uh, We'll, move, we'll go on from there. Yeah, we are on Oregon Street. Again, there's the uh, Sacred Heart Church. Uh, it's awfully noisy around here. It is noisy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, we're just going to kind of drive around a little bit and give you a look. I think I told you this. Did I, did I say it? This is the second oldest neighborhood in El Paso. Uh, I'll see if I can stop. Oh, 
Boy, what's she hollering about? Uh, yeah. It's just across the border from Mexico. So it's where, uh, this is where El Paso originally developed the city. And it kind of spread out into the United States. And you can see, again, you can see downtown straight ahead. Of course, you get on the other side of downtown to the more suburban areas of uh, El Paso. It's modern and new. Looks like everyone, uh, everywhere else, but that's why I'm here, because I want to show you where it does not look like everywhere else, and that is definitely here. <laughs> yeah, we're getting ready to head up another street. Of course, this guy decided just to park right here, <laughs> right here in the middle of the road. Oh, that's not a parking spot? Nope. Uh, so this is Stanton Street. A lot of shopping here. Uh, trying to keep this camera angled uh, so that the sun is shining in the right spot. But anyway, yeah, you can see a lot of shopping here. And up this way. Of course, this neighborhood looks very Mexico. If you've ever been to Mexico, yeah, that's what it looks like in a lot of the towns. Yeah, a lot of shops here on the left side of the road. Wow. It's fascinating down here. Yeah, I'll show you some of the shops over here. Everything in Spanish. I have yet to see, uh, or you don't see very much in English. Yeah, you can see it's very close to downtown. We're driving into downtown now. All right, we're taking another pass by the church. We wanted to go inside it but it is uh, locked up. It's got bars around it. So I'm gonna head down here to a, another really old neighborhood, the oldest neighborhood in the city. It's called Chihuahuita. Chihuahuaita. Chihuahua, well, it's Ch see now you're making me mess it up. It's Chihuahuaita. Chihuahuaita, yeah. So we're gonna head there right now. But now we're in Ch uh, Chihuahuita. <laughs> I won't say it. Why? Did I pronounce it wrong? Chihuahuita? I think that's that's better. Chihuahua, well, this Chihuahuita. Chihuahuita. Well, this is the oldest, the oldest neighborhood in El Paso. It's an endangered neighborhood. A lot of it has been uh, tore down. Some of it because of that road right up there. Um. It is, uh, can I drive down this way? Yes, yeah, it's a street. I know, but it's not much of a street. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the poorest uh, neighborhoods in the entire country. But uh, it is a lot of history here. Historical neighborhood. Uh, it's on the endangered historical neighborhood uh, list. Looks as if you're already in Mexico. Yeah, it does look uh, like you're in Mexico already, doesn't it? Um, I believe what's left of it, which is just these couple of streets, is preserved, will be preserved. Uh, let's see. I think we can get out of here. Very narrow roads, though. Can we get out here? Yeah, we can. Yes. Woo! All right. Mm -hmm. We did it. So, that street and this one here. Yeah, you can see the alley there. This is what's pretty much, or all pretty 
le or all that is left. Can I get that spit out, hon? <laughs> all that is left of this neighborhood. Yeah, that's about it. Interesting. These people have lived here a long time. A lot of these houses here. And let me see if I can show you where I'm at on the map. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Chihuahuita. Oh, you're making fun of me, huh? How do you say it? Chihuahuaita. Chihuahuaita. Look, there's some cats. So what's wrong with that? Well, the people, uh, they want cats. We'll get a closer look at oh, it in a second. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, so you can see El Paso mostly de uh, developed here in this little crook. And, uh, of course, out here is suburbia. And then this is Juarez. Give you an idea of where we're at. Let's see if I can get a good video of these cats, though. Whoop, there he went. <laughs> There's one right there. Oh, there is? Where? Right behind us. Ah, missed it. Can you see him? There's a little one. There he is. He used to be white. Now he looks grayish. Yeah, I missed the cat. There he is right there. There's, there's the cat. There's another one. There we go. The subscribers <laughs> demand it. <laughs> oh, anyway, there's the cat. Even though technically I don't That's have it. to get cats on these videos. It's El Gato. Huh? El Gato. Yes. All right. That's how you say cat in Spanish. Oh, that's how you say cat in Spanish. Okay, El Gato. There's the El Gatos. <laughs> yeah, that would be For all you people uh, <laughs> whose eagle eyes is making sure I get uh, get a cat. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'm going to show you the hotel real quick. Like I said, we'll do a review. That's it right there. Kind of oh, greenish. Yeah, the uh, courtyard by Marriott. Those are usually pretty nice. We stayed at them before. You can see up there, there's a deck with a swimming pool. Anyway, yeah, like I said, that video, or that part of the video will be uh, at the end. Well, I'm out on foot in downtown El Paso. You know, it's been, uh, I guess, a little over a year since I've been here. I've been to El Paso many times, but it's been a little over a year. This building wasn't here then. Well, this is new. It's the tallest building in the city now. So, cool. Good for you, El Paso. Anyway, I'm going to uh, show you downtown a little bit, and I'll tell you about the city. Another shot from where I'm standing. As I make my way into the city. The heart of the city, if you will. Check out the beautiful palm trees. Generally a pretty mild climate here in El Paso. It's, uh, well today is Saturday. Uh, we're in the second week of February. It's probably in the low 60s right now. So it's not bad. Let's make sure I give you some good shots here. It looks really nice. Okay, now I'm where I wanted to be. San Jacinto Plaza. It's right here in the middle of downtown. In the heart. I'll tell you about the town while I'm here. Today there's uh, about 680,000 people here. Metro 871,000. Let's see, what else can I tell you about the town? I've got to show you this um, sculpture though that's here every time I come here I take a look at it <laughs> it's a couple of alligators I've always wondered why they have a couple of alligators here in El Paso because this is not a city known for alligators or crocodiles whatever they are but there they are a lot of birds hanging out anyway um, let's see Median age here is 34 years old. Per capita incomes, 25,670 a year. Median household income, 51,241. 
Poverty is 19.1%, a bit higher than the U.S. average. Uh, for children 17 and under, it's 27%. And for folks 65 and older, it's 20%. So poverty is a little high, but in all fairness, cost of living is uh, really low here. And, um, well, you're looking at downtown. It's gorgeous down here. Uh, let's see, gender breakdown, about even, 51% female, 49% male, uh, the race breakdown, let's see, 82% Hispanic, 12% white, 3% black, and 1% Asian. So there's that, interesting. Median home value here is 152800 so it's uh, pretty inexpensive housing here, but 30% lower than the uh, state of Texas. I've always really liked this collection of murals here. It's been here a long time. A lot of cool murals here in the city, by the way. Not sure if I'll see them all, but um, anyway, more about the city. El, uh, El Paso is the second largest majority Hispanic city in the U.S., second to San Antonio. Now across the Rio Grande, uh, El Paso's sister city, the Mexican city of Juarez, has about 1.5 million people and is one of the most dangerous cities in the world. In fact, Juarez is the third most dangerous city in the world. It's more dangerous than war zones in Syria. So what's it like in El Paso? Is it dangerous here as well? No. So, <laughs> shockingly, El Paso is one of the safest cities in the United States. In fact, El Paso has the second lowest property crime in the U.S. of uh, large cities and the third lowest violent crime of all large cities in the country. And uh, people have always wondered why that is. Why is El Paso so safe, one of the safest in the country? Several reasons. First of all, it's in Texas. And uh, people in Texas are armed. That sure is beautiful, isn't it? I've always loved that building. Anyway, uh, Texans are armed, that's one. Huge police presence here, and I mean huge, which includes the Border Patrol. Uh, they are everywhere. Driving into town, police are on the uh, interstate, everywhere. And then Border Patrol, of course, is all over as well. Thirdly, there is an uh, army base here. I believe it is the second largest in the United States, Fort Bliss. So huge military presence here as well. Uh, all that adds up to quite frankly a safe city. And uh, it's really amazing if you think about it. Now a couple other things. UTEP is here, University of Texas at El Paso. Sometimes a football power. Uh, the Sun Bowl is their stadium. And that is the second oldest bowl game. Uh, in the U.S. I want to say Rose Bowl is the oldest. Uh, they've got this great old theater over here. The Plaza Theater. Let me walk up to it. Uh, it was built in 1930 and is operational to this day. It's on the National Register as you can well imagine. Uh, I love the way it looks. Kind of uh, harkens to the Alamo a little bit with the architectural style. Well, and that's just uh, arch architecture in this area looks like this. It's fantastic. The economy of El Paso is diverse. International trade, military, oil and gas, tourism at the top. The uh, international trade here is second to San Diego. But uh, by far the top employer is Fort Bliss, 47,600 people, 
Uh, the second biggest employer is El Paso ISD with 7,900. And I just walked into a lot of noise. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Always liked uh, El Paso's downtown. It's really quaint and beautiful. All right, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is go check out some neighborhoods. Now, here in El Paso, it's a desert and hot and there's water restrictions so you don't see a lot of grass yards you see rock yards I've always thought it was really cool uh, you see this all the way into California across New Mexico and Arizona but mostly people here have gravel yards there's a little bit of grass on that one uh, because it's simply too hard and expensive to keep grass alive here in El Paso And of course, much of the uh, town is built on the side of a mountain. So yeah, I'm just going to show you some uh, places that are, or homes that are representative to the area. You can see all the gravel. A little bit of grass right there. Um, but yeah, I've always thought it was really cool. You'll find some neighborhoods where uh, gravel will be all colors Yeah, there's some grass there, but probably maybe one out of 15 yards uh, Will have Grass it's great majority have Gravel and some sort of uh, shrubs desert shrubs if you will uh, But many of the homes here are really beautiful here in El Paso I've been here many times. I've always loved the architecture. What you see here in some of the neighborhoods. Really fantastic. And, uh, you know, you're almost always climbing up the side of a mountain when you live here. But yeah, you'll see, there you go, you know, you'll see the cactus, various types of desert plants mixed in with the gravel. Uh, that's how they do the yards here. Yeah, it's really cool. Might be able to get a nice view of downtown from here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's um, yeah, there's downtown right there. How about that? Let me slow down a little. Get a good look. Nice view. And of course, Juarez, Mexico, on the other side. Let me uh, zoom in a little. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, here in downtown, we're going to eat at Barrio Eats and Drinks, a local place. Uh, it's pretty upscale Mexican food. So, yep, let's go. Let's give it a try. What do you think? Hun? Yep. It's going to be good. That's what we're told. It's just as good. Okay, we've ordered our drinks. We ordered Jack Daniels. <laughs> It doesn't taste like it though. No, it doesn't. I, I'm choking it, it down because I'm going to get something different. Yeah, it, the, the guy who was serving us English is his second language, you can tell. Uh, I think he gave us rum. We're going to choke it down, then we'll make sure the next time. But we did order an appetizer. It looks yummy. Yeah, bacon wrapped shrimp. So we're going to try that first. Camarones if it's good. Fiesta. Huh? It's called Camarones Fiesta. That's right. Well, the bacon wrapped shrimp is delicious, and they've got a looks like a jalapeno stuffed in there. A bit of gives it a bit of spice, a bite, and of course it's bacon. You can never go wrong with bacon. That's just that's just the way of things. All right, our food is here. Of course, this is a Mexican dish. So I've got refried beans and rice. I've got a beef taco, a chicken taco, and a fish taco. Yeah, that's a lot of food too. And you've got salmon. I've got like two meals of salmon. Yeah, salmon with uh, corn on the cob. Looks like cotija, cotija cheese of course. and white rice. That looks pretty fantastic too, doesn't it? I guess I don't have to worry about dinner tonight. Look how big. I've got like two salmon fillets. Two. Yeah, that's a lot I to eat. I need 12 ounces of salmon. It's not like a lot. Anyway, uh, we switched drinks. They said it gave us Jack Daniels. It doesn't taste like it. But we switched to Maker's Mark. So hopefully... You can try yours first. Hopefully it uh, tastes like whiskey, because that last drink did not taste like whiskey. Food is excellent. 
Uh, I've only had one taco, the fish taco, but I'm already full. I'm, I'm going to be eating these later, the beef and the chicken taco. And I can tell by looking at my food, again, I thought it was way too much food. The salmon, yeah. is, salmon is good. It's, uh, it's a lot of salmon. I'm going to have more than two meals. <laughs> yeah, you got two, yeah, you got definitely got leftovers there for two nights. Yeah, yeah, so. definitely. And, and it's, pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's good food here. Right here in downtown El Paso. Okay, everyone, the food there was excellent. Mexican food in El Paso. That box checked. Barrio eats and drinks. Highly recommend. Anyway, one last thing in the video, the uh, room review. So uh, hang tight for that. It's coming up right now. All right, everyone, uh, we're going to review the room and hotel now. Uh, we stayed in downtown El Paso at the Courtyard Marriott. Looks out over Juarez uh, from the pool deck. Swimming pools on the fifth floor. It's pretty cool. But anyway, uh, let's start with the room. So uh, here's a look at the room. Look at the hallway in the hotel. We are in room 502. Um, it's not big. We usually stay in a lot bigger room, but uh, all, the, all the bigger rooms are booked. But it's got a nice view. You get to see the pool. That's probably too cold to get into right now. <laughs> too cold today. But yeah, you can see we're downtown. But yeah, look at too this. Too cold. The wind nearly blew me the hell away. Yeah, we got pool view. And uh, you can see Mexico over that way, Juarez. Yeah, the room. It's a cute little room. It's got a, well, it's got a little It's got a cute little love couch. seat. Yeah. In the bed, TV. We um, miss our sleep. <laughs> little microwave and refrigerator there. Teeny tiny refrigerator. Huh? Teeny tiny refrigerator. Yeah, it's a very small refrigerator. And uh, a little closet. closet. And then there's the bathroom. Bathroom with the shower. Oh, well, there you go. The room. <laughs> yeah. Now the hotel's got a few other really cool things. Uh, it's got covered parking, and the rooms are actually above the parking. This so, like. huh? this is design we like. I like that design. It's easy to get in and out of the room, and the uh, the parking's got really good views. Maybe a little bit better than the pool deck itself. That being said, you got to look out over Juarez, I guess, if you're here. Now the pool, I found a little bit disappointing. Just because it's not uh, it's not heated. Yeah, it's not heated. This is a you know a mid-level hotel, but at the upper end, and uh, usually pools like this are heated. This was not. So it's a little bit cool here in El Paso uh, while we were here. Anyway, um, we did check out the bar restaurant. Here is that now. Uh, this is the lobby. It's actually a little bit smaller than. And a little more of the lobby. And there's the bar restaurant. Over here. We're going to go have something to eat. And then there's where you check in. Right there. Yeah. So, uh, like we're going to have some pickles. food. Fried pickles. That sounds good. That's what it smells like. All right. Let me show you a little bit more of the lobby in here. Got another sitting area. We can watch TV. Got a place outside. There you can come out. There you go. And a look at everything. Pretty nice hotel. It's a dining area. And uh, there's wifey over there sitting in the bar. All right, we've got Jack Daniels, mm -hmm. and we're waiting on our food. All right, food ordered. Isn't that right, honey? Yep, absolutely. Cool. All right. All right, our food is here. I'm having tomato soup with grilled cheese, and you're having what kind of flatbread is that? Mm -hmm. Margarita. It's tomato. It's a margarita. Yes. Yeah, it looks really good. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. All right, here's the lowdown on the food. It's good. It's not great, but it's good. Well, mine's good. Yours looks actually really good. Is well, it good? I'm hungry, so I'm eating. Yeah? Yeah, yours looked really good. Better than mine. Oh. Anyway, yeah, it's not bad. 
hotel food. Well, let's check out the gym. Wifey is working out right now. Are you getting a good workout? Yeah. Yeah? What did you do? Take off and leave and come back? And what? Did you go in and out and in and out? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, here's the gym. It looks out over the pool. The pool is uh, five floors up. Yeah. So, and it's got, uh, it's not a huge gym, but it's got, well, it's got a bench. It's got a bench and it's got weights. It's got everything we really need, so. Huh? Has, the, has what you need. Has what we need, yeah. And there's a laundry room here right next to it. All right, so there's that. Anyway, like I said, the hotel's okay overall. It's a little bit expensive for what we got and not a heated pool. Uh, you know, it's like 250 a night. That's it, Courtyard by Marriott. That's what we think. El Paso, downtown. Pretty cool. Uh, next video, we are uh, going to be out even farther west. So, be looking for that. It's coming up next.